Alright, they want us to solve this system of equations by substitution right there on the right. So what we're going to do, notice they're asking for us to use substitution. These two, this system is set up, each equation, these are both linear equations, and each one is set up in standard form, which typically it would be easier to solve these things by using the elimination method. But since they want us to do substitution, we'll do that. So I'm going to take this bottom equation right there, and I'm going to solve it for y. So I'm going to add 6x to both sides. And now I'm going to take that, what I just solved, and I'm going to substitute, hence the word substitution, in where I see y in the other equation. So let me write that right here. 8, actually, I'll write it. I'll write the equation. Yeah, I'll write the equation in blue, but I'll substitute in in red. So I'm going to write 8x plus 2, and now instead of writing y, I'm going to leave a big uh, parentheses. I always suggest you use parentheses. You'll see why later as, as you get do more and more of this. It gets very messy if you're not careful with parentheses. So I'm doing, I'm substituting instead of y, which was right there, I plug in the, what the other, what I found y to be equal to using the other equation. I substituted it in. Now I have one equation in one variable and I can solve this by the same methods we always use. Distribute the 2 in, that would be 12x plus 106 equals negative 54. Add the x's together, I get 20x equals, now I subtract the 106 because it's being added, so that would be 160, sorry, negative 160, because this was a negative 54 on the right. And now I divide both sides by 20, and I get negative 80, or negative 8 rather, as the answer. Divide both sides by 20 and I get negative 8. That's my answer for x. I'm not done because they wanted us to solve. Well, I've only found one, one half of the solution, not the entire solution. Notice that the solution needs to be an ordered pair. So I'm now going to plug negative 8 back in to either one of these x's right there. Either one of them will work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to the top one since uh, it doesn't really matter which one I use. So there's my equation. This, of course, equals negative 64 plus 2y equals negative 54. I add 64 to both sides and I get 10. Divide by 2 and I get 5. Now, before I plug this solution, this answer in for the solution, I'm going to check to make sure that it worked. I'm going to plug 5, sorry, negative 8, comma 5, negative 8 for x, 5 for y, back in to the equation, the bottom equation up here. Since I used the top equation to find y, I'm going to now plug it into the bottom equation right here. So I'll do that up in here. This is going to be negative 6 times negative 8 plus 5, because that's what y was, 5, equals 53. Let's see if that's true. Negative 6 times negative 8 is 48. 48 plus 5 is 53, so it works. So I'm going to write my answer in right here, negative 8 comma 5. I checked it and I know it's right because it worked in both equations. That's how you solve a system by the substitution method.